I did that wake up thing that you do and then you go, oh, I'll have 10 minutes more and then wake up half an hour later. Um, sorry, I do it anyway. Um, we are going to get started. Can everybody hear me okay? Cool. So we're going to start get started with feet. So we're going to warm our feet up. So we're going to come down to the floor first and we are going to stick our fingers through our feet. So we're going to thread our fingers through our toes um, as if we're shaking hands with our toes. Excellent. Once you've done that, you want to keep, we're going to warm the ankle up in a minute as well, but you want to keep your ankle and your heel as still as possible. And we're going to mobilize the top section of the foot. This is one I do quite a lot because it's nice and easy. Um, it's to encourage you to do it when you're doing other things. So to remember that if you're sitting watching TV or something, you can go, ah, I could do my feet. So, um, cause I like other ex exercises we could do while we're doing other things. So mobilizing the top of the foot area, you can experiment. How many different ways can you move the top of the foot? You can move it side to side, like you're twisting. And uh, you can move it up and down. Uh, you can move it in a kind of uh, figure of eight. Uh, you can do all sorts of things. You can move just the toes up and then just the toes down. So you can move all sorts of different directions. So experiment with what you can do. Once it's starting to feel warm, we're going to put it on the floor and we're going to take one of our fingers and we're going to feel up to the point where we can, if we feel up between the big toe and the second toe, there's a, a soft tissue. And if you feel all the way up that soft tissue, you'll come eventually to a ridge of bone. And we're going to start at that ridge of bone. And then we're going to slide or, or move like a caterpillar, that finger down between the, the tissues between the bones all the way to the bottom. So we're freeing up any stuck or tight fascia. And then we're gonna to swap to the next set of toes and be, go between them and mobilize the fascia between those toes. And then we're gonna to go to the next set and we're just gonna keep continuing to the end. And if you feel a bit that feels really particularly tight, you can press lightly into it and then release it and then let it go. So just between the toe bones, just getting into that tight bit of fascia. So I've been wearing sandals a lot, so the kind of the you know the, the the end one is always much tougher than the other ones. Whenever I wear sandals, you'll start to see patterns in your body and tension patterns that it will hold, and all the way along there. Once you have done that one foot and it's feeling great, hopefully we can swap over to the other foot and do the same thing on the other one. So. First of all, threading, you can thread your fingers through your toes from the top of your foot or the bottom of your foot. If one feels easier than the other, try the other way. So you're threading all the way through and trying to get your fingers as deep as you can into your foot, into your toes. So we're just getting this nice toe spread that we're working on. Heel and ankle as still as possible and mobilizing that top part of the foot in as many different ways as you can. So you can actually get your whole foot to kind of undulate as well. You've got so many movement patterns in your foot. It does this thing where it kind of goes internally, then externally, then internally, then externally, every time you take a step. So you have these really cool movement patterns that the, all these bones and muscles can do. And if we've been in harder shoes all winter, and most of the summer this year in Scotland, then when you take your feet out of them, quite often there's that lack of mobility. So we want to make sure we've got that mobility back again. And we would quite, it'd be good if we could keep it all winter, actually, too. Once that's feeling a little bit warmer, we're going to do the fascia release. So we're going to take our finger like a little caterpillar and again, trace up till you can feel that bone to start you off. So you get an idea about where it is in your foot. And then you're going to slide or move like a caterpillar that finger down between your toes. And again, do each of the sets. So just between the fascia, between the toes morning, everybody, by the way. So today's session is a supine session. We're going to build the first pose slowly, and then we're going to look at a combination of little, like a little combination of poses. Everything is on our backs, which is why it's called Flat Out Friday. Um, and then we're going to do the next one between the toes as well. So just taking your time with this. It's really like nice and warmed up. When you come to finish that, you're going to come to sitting up and you're going to have your feet out in front of you. And we're going to warm our ankles up a little bit too. 
Make sure your sit bones are directly underneath you. And you want to line your rib cage up on top of your pelvis. Then we're simply going to point, so plant or flex our toes. And then we're going to pull them up, dorsiflexing, keeping the heels on the floor. So this is coming from the ankles, not the knees. So pointing and flexing and pointing and flexing. Just nice and simply. Then we're going to do one foot pointing while the other flexes. So we get a little bit of coordination through our brains. And then we're going to do both again. And this time when we plan to flex the ankles, so the top of the foot, I'd like you to extend the toes. So you're pushing down, but the toes are staying extended. And then you're going to pull back dorsiflexing, but pointing the toes. So extending and pressing down, pointing and pulling up. Extending and pressing down, pointing and pulling up. Extending, pressing down, one more, pointing and pulling up. Brilliant. And then just give them a little kind of shake out. So we're going to come now to lying on our backs. Um, and as you come down to lying on your backs, make sure you're not doing a sit-up to get there or the reverse sit-up. So you can roll onto your side and come down onto your backs here. We're going to have our legs hip distance apart. We're going to make sure to start with that our back of our pelvis, our rib cage, our shoulders, and the back of our head are all evenly weighted. So we want to make sure we're not weighting the pelvis more than we're weighting the shoulders and back or that we're weighting the feet less than anywhere else. So just take a moment, let's take two big breaths here. Oh, I'll just make sure everything's just now. Oh. Two big breaths here. Oh, I'm just gonna mute you. Before we get started. Okay. So now we're going to do three breaths. You can have your hands around your ribcage if you want for this one, or hands just by your side. We're going to take three breaths. We're going to breathe into the sides of our ribcage. So we're, we're going to really focus on the ribcage expansion laterally to the sides, and then we're going to do our apnea. We're going to do three and six for our breathing, and we're going to pause and hold for a count of 10. If you need to breathe before the 10, please breathe. And if you find three and six too fast, just do two breaths at four and eight and then start your apnea. Just ignore my count. So ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Stretch your ribs out towards the sides for a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here. So this time I'd like you to bring your focus to the idea that we're opening both laterally and behind us. So we've got this beautiful widening of the rib cage like a circle. So just focusing on that lower circle opening. So hands back around your rib cage, ready to inhale. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs, both to the sides and behind for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here. So this time, what I'd like us to do is focus on the rib cage, the sides, the back, and then think about there being a little bit of sternal movement. So your sternum here, it's going to feel like it's moving just a little bit up towards the underside of your chin. So, and as you exhale, I'd like you to try and keep the sternum a little bit elevated. So it's not going to drop or, or fall suddenly down. It's going to try and stay up a little bit as we do the exhale. So ready to inhale. In, two, three, out, 
five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widen the ribs to the sides, behind a little bit to the front, and a sternum for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here and exhale, release. Now this time, I'd like you also to think at the, at the, at the end of the inhale. So as you're inhaling at the end of the inhale, I'd like you to think about your pelvic floor. And I don't ask you to think about your pelvic floor loads, but I'd like you just to have a little moment to think about it. So right at the end of the inhale, so we've inhaled to the sides behind the upper sternum. I'd also like you, as you're breathing, breathing into the upper sternum, to think about the breath coming all the way down to your perineum. So your perineum is a section between your, um, your, your vagina and your anus. So there's a little bit of um, connective tissue there and muscle called the perineum. So I'd like you to think about the perineum. So we're not going to think about pushing into the perineum or anything. I'd like you just to be aware of the perineum as you breathe into the sternum as well. So we've got this really long breath that goes all the way down towards the bottom of our pelvis. Okay, shall we try it? So ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widening your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Inhale here and exhale release. And I should have said just ignore the perineum as we do the apnea. So, but you're going to have plenty of practice time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dorsiflex our feet. So legs are hip distance apart. We're going to gently dorsiflex our feet. They want to be like a dimmer switch going on in the room. So make sure you're not pulling up too tight. I'd like you also to squish marshmallows underneath your heels. Again, make sure it's just a gentle movement. Again, not too tight. We're no tight. We're just activating, not tensioning. Then I'd like you to think about having a little ball between your knees that you're gently holding in place. We're not squeezing the ball, we're just holding it in space. Then hands can be back around our rib cage, holding those nice little active stretches. Think about the breath, three breaths here, ready to inhale. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widening the ribcage to the sides, behind, sternum for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to slide our hands out towards the side of a T, hovering slightly off the floor. I'd like you, first of all, to just be aware of the space between your shoulder girdles. So just being aware of that space. You want that space to be as flat on the floor as you can. Now, I'd like you to be aware of the space in your arms, in your actual shoulders. So thinking about the ball and socket and just thinking about creating space there by reaching your fingertips away. So we're not trying to pull it really hard. We're just creating space between the joints. Then we're going to rotate from the wrist. So we're going to rotate the wrist, the elbow and the shoulder inside its ball and socket joint until our palms are facing towards the floor. Then keeping that space between the ball and socket joint and the shoulders, we're going to bend our elbows, bringing our fingertips in towards each other, like we're holding a beach ball in front of us. And we should still feel nice and loose through our shoulder girdle. It should feel like the space. Then we're going to bring our hands down towards the top of our pelvis. Good. So always thinking about that gentle pressing out through the elbows to create that distance between the shoulder girdle. Okay, re-engage with your feet. Think about them for a moment and your knees. Now I'd like you to think about your sacrum moving towards your feet, 
and your head moving towards the opposite side of the room. Ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widening your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your second position. So it's directly in front of your chest. Again, make sure you've not brought your hands too close to your body, that you've got this beautiful circle in front of you and all the space in the joints. Ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widening your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here. As you exhale, we're just going to think about that ball and socket joint being really loose. And we're gonna move our arms up just from the ball and socket joint. So we're not changing our rib cage changing anything else, just moving the arms up to where it's comfortable for your sockets. Excellent. Then from here, still pressing gently out through those elbows, recheck in with your feet, your ankles, your knees, your sacrum, your head, relax your jaw, ready to inhale. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here and exhaling, shaking the arms off a little bit, reaching your legs long along your mat. So now our legs are fully extended. We want to make sure our knees are still soft, so don't lock out through the knees. And you want to make sure your heels are still in contact with the floor. We're dorsiflexing. This time I'd like you to imagine you're pressing your feet against the edge of the swimming pool. Just that moment, just before you push off into the swimming pool in a glide. We're going to take our hands this time out towards the side, palms face down towards the floor. But no, palms facing up, I mean. Arms, actually your arms facing down towards the floor. So we've externally rotated in our joint, in our shoulder. Reach out through your little finger. Three breaths here. Ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here. As you exhale, taking your hands to a T. Now this time, I'd like you to have a little bit of a different focus. As we inhale, I'd like you to reach your fingertips away, just creating much, much more space in the shoulder joint and the, across the shoulder blades. As you exhale, I'd like you to think about just releasing that action a little bit and stretching from the sacrum through to the crown of the head. So as you inhale, reaching through your arms, as you exhale, reaching through your spine. Okay, all good? Let's go for it, ready to inhale. Reach, two, three, lengthen. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach, two, three, lengthen. 
five, four, three, two, one. Reach, two, three, lengthen, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause, widen your ribs for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here and exhaling, taking your hands up to a high V. Now to get there, what I'd like you to do is just slide your hands along the floor until you feel it starting to affect your rib cage. So we're just sliding up, so you might stop much, much lower than I stop. So just feel where it's good for your body. This time as we inhale, I'd like you to reach from the opposite foot, foot to the opposite hand. So you can do both hands at the same time like a cross. So as you inhale, you're going to reach from your heel to your fingertips through your thoracolumbar fascia at the back of your body. That's a big bit of fascia in your lower back. And then as we exhale, I'd like you to reach through your spine, ready to inhale. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here. As we exhale, we are going to cross. We're going to slide our left leg towards the centre of our body a little, and we're going to cross our right leg over the left leg at the ankle. Again, gently dorsiflexing, and knees are gently soft. Then we're going to bring our hands into our internal rotation second position briefly. And we're going to slide our right hand underneath our left hand. Then we're going to bring our hands down towards our pelvis. We're going to do our three breaths here. And as we start to perform the apnea, we're going to slowly move our hands up above our head for a count of 10. When we're doing this, we want to move slowly. So we're not going to suddenly move our arms up, just like we're not going to suddenly widen our ribcage. Take it slow. Ready to inhale. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widening your ribs as you press your hands up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here, exhaling, swapping your feet over, swapping your hands over and bringing them back down towards your pelvis. Ready to inhale. In, two, three, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out, Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs as you move your hands up for a 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here. As we exhale, we're going to bring our hand, feet back up so they're bent at a 45 degree angle into the kind of Demeter position for our legs. Now I'd like you to take your hands and place them on your pelvis area. So you're going to feel your pelvis. As we inhale, we're going to stretch one of our legs away. So we're going to, we can slide it along the floor if you're new. If you've been coming for a while and have done this lots, you can lift the leg slightly off the floor and then reach it out. What we're attempting to do is we don't want to be using dropping the pelvis when we're doing this and we don't want to be arching the back when we do this. We want to make sure the pelvis can stay really kind of balanced. So the pelvis is balanced and we're using the extensors to extend our leg. Then as we exhale, we're going to draw it back into the starting position. We're going to do three of these. On the apnea, we're going to stretch the leg away again or slide it away, whichever one you're doing. 
So just being cautious and thinking about keeping your pelvis nice and balanced. If you can't fully extend the leg, because when you fully extend it, you start to arch your back or drop your pelvis, take your leg to where it's great for you. So it might not be fully extended out. It might be with a little bend in it still. Okay, so hands on our pelvis. Gaze towards your ceiling. Let's breathe and extend. In, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Start widening your ribs and extending your leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here, exhaling, bending the leg. Let's go with the other side, so make sure you're balanced again, and let's begin. Stretch, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widening your ribs as you extend for ten, nine, eight seven six five four three two one inhaling here and exhaling bringing it back in this time we're going to bring our hands into internal rotation first position so we know how our back and our pelvis should feel as we inhale we're going to stretch the left side out so inhaling the right left hand's coming up and the left leg is extending as we exhale we're drawing it back in if I'm not mirrored for you, just do whichever side you want, because we're going to swap anyway. So just pick any side. If you want to follow my side and I'm not mirrored, just do whichever side that is. So I'm good. I'll just say we're going to extend one side first. Okay, so pick which side you're extending, and let's begin. In, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs as you extend that side for a ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling here and exhaling, bringing it in. Let's go for the other side. So find your balance in your body, and let's begin. Stretch, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch, two, three, back. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Widen your ribs and extend for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here and exhale, bring them in. Pull your knees in towards your chest for a moment and give yourself a nice rock across your spine. We've got one more little set to do before we come to a close. So feet are going to be close towards our buttocks. We want to do a little bit of inversion. So for this one, we're going to have our hands down by our side, feet closer in, knees hip distance apart. We're going to do our three breaths. On our third exhale, we're going to tilt our pelvis back just a little bit. So we're tilting as if our lower back's coming towards the floor. We're going to pull our knees up towards the corners of the room. And then we're going to perform our apnea here. Okay, so we're not curling each individual vertebra up, we're just tilting and then pulling with our knees. So we're really activating the front of our body. Let's go for it. So arms are on the floor, shoulders are wide, nice long spine. 
Let's begin. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, out. Five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, tilt and come up. Five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widening your ribs. Option to dorsiflex your feet. Option to bring your arms over the top, nice and loosen their joints. Hold this pose until you need to inhale. When you need to inhale, inhale in position and exhale, release and come down. Feet side by side, feet flat on the floor, shoulders nice and relaxed, arms nice and relaxed, face nice and relaxed. We're going to do three breaths in an apnea to finish. I'd like you to inhale and think about something beautiful and joyful. So joy on your inhale, exhale calm, thinking about something beautiful and calm and then our apnea. Ready to inhale. Joy, two, three, calm, five, four, three, two, one. Joy, two, three, calm, five, four, three, two, one. Joy, two, three, calm, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly widening your ribs for as long as is comfortable for you. So just a beautiful slow opening. Thinking about sides of your rib cage, back of your rib cage, sternum. Thinking about the diaphragm drawing down. Thinking about the pelvis just being gently drawn up. And when you need to inhale, inhale here. Excellent. Well done.